Listen to me, please don't lose me, the mood is gloomy. Feeling depressed, I'm all a mess, somebody shoot me. It's not a movie, but my life is full of scenes. I'ma take y'all back to the tragedy of 2014. I started playing basketball at seven. I was introduced to it from my father. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of found a love with it. Over the years, it just progressed and got better. We were playing out of the tournament out of Brighton High School. And I kept putting them in, putting them in. And for some reason, I, it, it just wasn't clicking for him. He was really hurting. He couldn't do the things he wanted to do. This can't be happening. An athlete heading into his prime. Who would have thought I would be diagnosed with cancer? I went from cheers and chants from the crowd to ball and wearing the mask and people avoiding me. I can remember saying, I will ne we'll never be able to make it. We'll never be able to do it. Like, how do we, how do we get through it? Uh, I remember uh, some days where he couldn't walk. You know, outside of them carrying cancer for him, he ended up having other problems with his legs and things like this. To see him get back on the court and done with treatment was like, man, this kid has, has really persevered. The Hamilton community helped drive me by showing so much love and compassion. When I was first diagnosed and I lost my hair and my face got fat, I ended up coming up here to the school. And when I came, I went in the auditorium and just everybody just stood up and just started clapping for me. People are really looking at you and like, want you to succeed, they want you to keep fighting. He is all over the place, and there's no stopping him, there's no slowing him down, he's never tired, he never tells you no. He is always ready and willing to do whatever you ask him to do, and the students, I think, are following that example. Good kid, run it back. Yeah. One, two. In order to know what he's gone through and know his body sometimes is not going to feel well, is not going to feel good, but he's still here and doing it, they follow him a lot. Being introduced to music, he always played around with it and wrote raps, but was, wasn't really serious about it until he met a patient named Hannah. While fighting for her life, she was able to motivate somebody else to reach their dreams. I do this for the two. Yeah. 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 I do this for the two. You know I do this for the two. I do this for the two. For real? I have to fight the same lives as the two. So of course his thing was, I want to help St. Jude. I said, well, we can use the album as a fundraiser. One day we were in class and we were working on a project and he asked, he said, Mr. TK, he said, can you listen to my song? So he put his song on and this song talked about his story and his battle with leukemia and how he was in the prime of his basketball career. But it was this part in the song where the basketball stopped bouncing. Myself and the rest of the students had tears in their eyes. And after that, it's like, I, I realized, I was like, this young man actually has a story. It, there is a reason for his determination, his motivation. There is light at the end of the road. Even though you're gonna have some hard days, and even harder days down the road, it will always get better. Cancer has become an integral part of my life. And even when it tried to defeat me, I never let it define me. Cancer has been my blessing in disguise. This process has taught me so much about me, and I've grown in a couple areas along my journey. I've learned the true meaning of living, loving, giving, and being thankful. Nicholas is determination. And we are 901. I am determination, and we are 901. I'm bleeding that blue. I'm bleeding that blue.